second initiation and some other devotees are taking shelter in the naam jichai valagindrom sila bhaktargal mudal jichai perugindrargal matthoru bhaktar irandavadu jichaiyum mattum sila bhaktargal guru yetral sadangayum merkolgindranar so of the initiation the first initiation is the most important because the first initiation gives us the shelter of the lotus feet of lord krishna through the chanting of his holy name in the dikshagalil mudal dikshai migum mukhyamanadu yen endru sonnal inda sadangu oru bhaktarai krishna bhagavanin parama padangalil adaikalam vaikindrathu andha punitha naamathai jebippadan moolamaga devotees who are taking shelter if at some point you want to change and take shelter of someone else it's also allowed don't feel that you shelter today that you have to accept initiation you may in the future to change your mind you may like to take shelter from some other person and go and take initiation from someone else that is allowed or guru vidam krishna kanaya and nitai goranga rai and chula prabhupad and in front of the sacred fire and in front program here as in any other is concentered every morning after the mongol arti we recite the ten offenses so devotees should know these ten offenses ka adhigalayil ningal aalayathirku vandhalo allathu vera endha krishna bhakti kalaga nilayangalukku chendralo adhigalayil நாம் தவிர்க்க வேண்டிய பற்று பத்து குற்றங்களை நாம் வாசிப்பதை பார்க்கலாம் you may say the offenses in tamil you may say them in english you may say them in your mother tongue that is the the language is not important in the பத்து குற்றங்களை தவிர்ப்பது பற்றி ஆங்கில மொழியிலோ தமிழ் மொழியிலோ அல்லது எந்த தாய் மொழியிலோ கூறலாம் but it's important to try to understand the significance of these offenses anal and the kutrangali tavirpadan mukhyathai patri nam nangu unandirukka vendum 
So the first offense is called the mad elephant offense, and that's to blaspheme a devotee who has dedicated their lives to propagating the holy name. In Kali Yuga, we're very much influenced by the modes of passion and ignorance. And sometimes bad words come in our mouth and appear on our tongue, and we say nasty things to people. One should be very conscious of what we speak, especially when we're speaking to devotees. We should be very careful not to speak harshly, unkind words to them. Because such unkind, harsh words can lead to our spiritual fall down. We can lose, or our, our progress in devotional service can be suspended by committing some offense to a devotee. We see in the Srimad Bhagavatam the example of Subhari Muni is there. He was a great yogi, very elevated, meditating in the bottom of the Yamuna, but he spoke harshly against Garuda. And as a result of his harsh words, he was, his spiritual progress was suspended for some time. And it, it took him some time to again come back into the spiritual practice. Durvasa Muni is another well-known example of a, an advanced yogi who became affected by the results of offenses against another devotee. Devananda Pandit is an example of somebody affected by offenses by his disciples. He had to suffer for the offenses of his disciples. Devananda Panditar, our day, Sidarin Kutrinal, our Padikapatar. So we all have to be very careful. It's very important for us not to commit offenses against anyone by behaving in a passionate or in a, a manner influenced by the mode of ignorance. <laughs> No matter how much we are attached to things, to having something our way, we have to be very cautious in dealing with devotees because the devotees have taken shelter at the lotus feet of Krishna. Krishna can tolerate offenses against his, his own self, but he cannot tolerate offenses against his devotees. So we're warning everyone must be very cautious in dealing with devotees. Bhaktarigalidam, Vigakavanamaga, Irikavendamendri, Nam Anivarukum, 
அறிவுறுத்துகின்றோம் Second offence, to consider names of demigods like Lord Shiva or Lord Brahma to be equal to or independent of the name of Lord Vishnu. We have to understand the names of the demigods are not equal to the name of the Supreme Lord. We offer our respects to the devas like Lord Shiva and Lord Brahma. We can offer our res we should offer our respects to them. But we don't chant their names. Srimad Bhagavatam describes how in Narada Muni's uh, life, two births previous to becoming Narada Muni, he was a, he was a, um, he was a resident of the heavenly planets. Uh, what did, what's it called again? Gandharva. Gandharva. He was a resident of Gandharva, Gandharva Loka. And uh, he was proud of his good looks and his sweet voice. And he was in the company of young women. And jokingly he began chanting the names of the devas. And he got cursed by the Prajapatis for this. <laughs> So he had to become the son of a Sudra, Sudra lady. He had to take birth in a low family to make him more humble. So chanting Hare Krishna mantra is a serious business. We have to understand how important it is. We have to take this responsibility very seriously. It's not for joking. It's not for making a making fun. It's a very important activity. So we encourage devotees, do your chanting in a proper manner. Don't try to chant in front of the television. Don't try to chant, you know, well, even, you know, you have to be careful, those of you who are mothers taking care of young children, children will need your care. You're not going to be able to chant very well if at the same time you're looking after a child. <laughs> So you have to try to chant when the children are sleeping. Then you can chant with more care and attention. And gradually, of course, the child grows up and you have more time to chant. And the children should see you chanting, then they will also want to chant. So the best way to train the children to be devotees is by the example of the mother and father. If the children see the mother and father chanting, if they see mother and father worshipping Krishna and doing kirtan, then the children will also take part. Mm. 
நாம் ஜபம் செய்ய வேண்டும் தாய் தந்தையர் ஜபம் செய்வதை பார்த்து தானாகவே குழந்தைகள் ஜபம் செய்ய ஆரம்பிப்பார்கள் சோ எக்ஸாம்பிள் இஸ் வெரி வெரி இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் உதாரணமாக அமைவது மிக மிக முக்கியம் All right third defense is to disobey the order of the spiritual master the spiritual master we are, we know there not only the diksha guru there are also shiksha gurus instructing teachers mundravadu kutram aanmiga guruvin kattalaiyai veerudal aanmiga guru endavar dikshai guru mattumalla namakku aalochanaigal valangum shiksha guruvum Their positions are equal. Those who are giving instruction are even more important than those who are giving the initiation. Unmail, namakke anmiga, alu senegal valangu kintra guru margal, namakke dirchay valangum guru margal odaya, odaya mukhya mana vargal. You know, I have the function to give the initiation, but I don't stay here very long. but the people who stay here they are the ones who do the training who give this, the real guidance and help to the devotee so it's very important that you also follow their instructions udharanathirkku indru naan indha dikshai nigachil inge irukkiren adan piragu naan engavathu thooramana edathirkku sendri viduven inge irukkindra bhaktargal thaan உங்களுக்குரூபத்தில் <laughs> குரு பல ரூபத்தில் வருவார் என்பதை நாம் புரிந்து கொள்ள வேண்டும் சில சமயங்களில் குரு நல்ல சிறந்த பக்தி சிறந்த வைஷ்ணவர்களின் ரூபத்தில் கூட இருக்கின்றார் so we are giving initiation into iskon you are you are taking you are becoming connected into this society this family institution and it's not that you're just connected to only the guru to one person but you're connected to all the devotees and particularly you're connected to the founder acharya shrila prabhupada in the deepshay nigalvu enbadu ungalai in the agilavada krishna bhakti kalagathil inaippadagum deepshay guru meedu mattum inaippadalla in the yakka samoogathil inaithu kurippaga இந்த இயக்கத்தின் ஸ்தாபக ஆச்சாரியர் சில்லா பிரபுபாதர் அவர்களோடு தொடர்புபடுத்துவதும் ஆகும் ஐ ஹட் தி மிஸ் ஐ ஹட் தி தி அன்ஃபார்ச்சுனேட் எக்ஸ்பீரியன்ஸ் ஆஃப் சீயிங் அ ஸ்பிரிச்சுவல் மாஸ்டர் லீவ் தி சொசைட்டி லீவ் இஸ் கான் அண்ட் ஹி டோல்ட் ஆல் ஹிஸ் டிசைபிள்ஸ் டு ஃபாலோ ஹிம் அண்ட் many left the society and went with him and went to hell எனக்கு மிக கசப்பான அனுபவம் எல்லாம் உண்டு ஒரு மூத்த குருமார் இந்த இயக்கத்திலிருந்து வெளியாகி அவருடைய சீடர்களை எல்லாம் அவருடன் வெளியில் எடுத்து சென்று விட்டார் நிச்சயமாக அவர்கள் எல்லாம் கண்டிக்கப்படக்கூடியவர்கள் So you are being initiated into Iskon you are being connected not just simply to me but to Srila Prabhupada and to his institution so it's important to have uh, to see the spiritual master in many different persons not only in the diksha guru indru ningal ennidam dikshe perigindirgal ennidam mattum ningal sambandham vaikkavillai ningal indha yakkathai saagam seidha silla prabhupadar mattum indha yakkathil ungalai ilaithu kondullanar ullirgal many devotees they tell me how they get help from people like Dwija Goranga Prabhu and uh, Ramcharan Prabhu and Abhay Charan Prabhu you know they're the ones who are doing the actual preaching I'm only coming and going I'm not staying here very long Udharanathirkku Dwija Goranga Prabhu Ramcharan Prabhu Abhay Charan Prabhu ivargal ella bhaktargalukku nalla aalochanaigalum valigaattigalayum valangi varugindranar naan mattum ungalukku avatrai valanga mudiyadhu 
So you have to re see them also, that they're, represent they're also representing Srila Prabhupada's will and Srila Prabhupada's mission and you should respect them just like your spiritual teacher. The fourth offense is to blaspheme Vedic literature or any literature in pursuance of the Vedic version. This means you want to try to read or at least hear the scriptures regularly. I know some of you are young people and you're busy, you have families and many things to do, but you have to try to get some time to hear, to read regularly. Many of you nowadays you have your cars, so when you're in your car you can be playing some recordings, hearing some readings from the scriptures, hearing some lectures. Similarly, when you're at home, you're in the kitchen or you're cleaning the house, you can be hearing some spiritual sound vibration. There are plans to begin teaching Bhakti Shastri here in Malaysia and we hope some of the devotees will take the opportunity to participate and study the Bhakti Shastri. Bhakti Shastri Paichiyai Malaysia Gil Tuvangu Vadarakku Yerpadigal Nadandu Kondu Varigitrana Idil Nikal Kadandu Kondu Paiyan Paralam not everybody is able to go to Mayapur for three or four months and study Bhakti Shastri. So the course is going to be taught here in Malaysia and we hope that you will try to take part. In this way you can study Prabhupada's books more. The fifth offense is to consider the glories of chanting Hare Krishna to be imaginary. We may hear that once chanting of the Hare Krishna mantra can destroy unlimited amounts of sins. So we may think, oh, I've done so many sins. How is it possible that by once chanting Hare Krishna only, I could destroy all my sins? We think, oh, not possible. But the chanting of Hare Krishna mantra is very powerful. We should not doubt the power of the holy name. If we are thinking, oh no, it's not, it's just a man, they just say this, it's not really true, then this is an offense. So we have to understand that the holy name of the Lord is not different from the Lord. And just as Lord Krishna is all-powerful, His holy name is also all-powerful.
பகவான் எப்படி சக்தி வாய்ந்தவரோ அது போல அவருடைய திருநாமத்திற்கும் அந்த சக்தி உண்டு பட் தேர் ஆர் குவாலிட்டிஸ் இன் சேன்டிங் தி ஹோலி நேம் இட்ஸ் not that everyone's chanting will have the same power it will depend on the quality of the chanting நிச்சயமாக அந்த ஜெபத்தில் தரம் என்று இருக்கின்றது அனைவருடைய ஜெபமும் ஒரே தரம் வாய்ந்ததன்று எந்த அளவிற்கு நமது ஜெபத்தில் தரம் இருக்கின்றதோ அந்த அளவிற்கு சக்தி இருக்கும் there are three stages in the chanting of the holy name first is the offensive chanting where we are committing some offense of this one of these 10 offenses மூன்று வித மூன்று தரங்கள் இருக்கின்றன நமது ஜெபத்தில் முதலாவது தரம் குற்றம் நிறைந்த ஜெபம் இந்த 10 குற்றங்களில் ஏதாவதை ஒன்று நாம் செய்தால் நமது ஜெபம் குற்றம் நிறைந்த ஜெபம் என்று கருதப்படும் then second stage is the clearing stage where one is not deliberately committing an offense but one is trying to avoid these offenses so this is called the intermediate or the clearing stage irandavathu nilai jabam endradhu thuimai padutum nilai adhavathu naam vendum endru kutrangal seiyamal indha kutrangalai mudindha varayil avarka paarpadu described to be nama bas it's not the pure holy name but it's a shadow of the name and haridas thakur said if we chant at that stage nama bas then one is on the liberated platform idu na iranda nilai nama bhashyam endru kora padugindrathu sila haridas thakur kurugindra oru var indha nama bhashya tarathil jabam seidhal avar vidu vettavaraga karudapaduvar if we chant with a fence nama parad that's not the holy name it's a fence of the holy name so you we don't get we can never get love of god no matter how much we chant nam nama aparadha tarathil jabam seidhal adu jabam alla aparadham namadu namakku bhagavanin anbu kedaikkadu but nama parad chanting is better than not chanting anal kutramodu jabippadu arave jabikkamal irupadai vida meldan and somebody may say no my chanting is offensive so i'm not going to chant <laughs> no we we should we should chant but if we chant nama ba nama parad if we chant with offense then we sh- will, we will get the mercy of a devotee a devotee will come and instruct us adarkendre nama aparadham seigiren endru arave jabikkamal irukka mudiyadhu nichayamaga jabam seiya vendum nama aparadham you may be chanting we may be missing words out from the mantra you know sometimes you chant you miss a bit of the mantra so the devotee may come and say prabhu you know you're missing some words out in the mantra sila samayangalil nam jivikkum bolude andha mandirathil sila sorkalai tavirthu viduvom ivvaru seiyum bolude matra bhaktargal vandu nammai sari seivargal and so the devotee tells us missing words then we become more conscious and we start to chant properly ivar avargal sollum bolude nam vaarthagalai thavara vidugindrom endru unarndu melum gavanamaga nam jabam seivadarkku valivagukkum so it improves the, the mercy of a devotee helps us to improve the quality of our chanting bhaktargalin karunai namadhu jabam seigindra tarathai melum uyartum So nama bas is followed by shuddha nam the pure holy when we chant the holy name purely we experience that the holy name of krishna is not different from krishna the person and this is the stage of bhava nama bas kadilukku uyandathu shuddha nam shuddha nama nilaikku oru varu vandal we want to develop that our chanting we want to bring it to that higher stage the highest stage shuddhanam the pure holy name we can actually understand that name and how it's non different from krishna and we can feel the presence of krishna through his name and we can become ecstatic in love for krishna 
இந்த சுத்த நாம நிலைக்கு வருவார் உயரும் பொழுது பகவானுக்கும் அவருடைய நாமத்திற்கும் எந்த வேறுபாடும் இல்லை என்றதை உணர்ந்து நாம் ஏகாந்த நிலைக்கு உயர்த்தப்படுவோம் சோ இட் டேக் சம் டைம் to improve the quality of our chanting. Srila Prabhupada was sitting chanting one morning when he said to a devotee, one of the senior disciples of Srila Prabhupada, Prabhupada turned to him and said, he said, you know, it took me 32 years to perfect my chanting. <laughs> ஒரு முறை சில புரோபாதர் ஜபம் செய்து கொண்டு அருகில் இருந்த பக்தரிடம் கூறினார் உங்களுக்கு தெரியுமா நாம் நான் சுத்த நாமம் என்ற நிலையில் ஜபம் செய்வதற்கு அதாவது சரியான முறையில் ஜபம் செய்வதற்கு முப்பத்தி ரெண்டு ஆண்டுகள் பிடித்தனர் சோ பிரபு பர்வஸ் டெலிங் தோதி இட்ஸ் கோயிங் டு டேக் டைம் டோன்ட் திங்க் இட்ஸ் ஜஸ்ட் சோ ஈஸி தட் You know, I've been a devotee two years, I haven't seen Krishna yet. You know, sometimes we become a little impatient. No, it's going to take some time. We have to practice carefully. <laughs> Of course, some people are older. We may say, well, if it's going to take so long, I won't be able to finish, you know. <laughs> But... We should understand it's not the same for everyone. But for some people it takes longer, for other people you can get results very quickly. Ajamil chanted at the end of his life and very quickly he was able to go back to Godhead. What is important is the intensity, the intense desire to want to develop our love for Krishna, to want to feel the presence of Krishna in His holy name. When we develop that intense greed for Krishna, then Krishna will reciprocate. <laughs> So it's not a question of just everybody has to chant 32 years, no. <laughs> it's going to be different. Maybe it will take me 32 lifetimes. <laughs> we don't know, but we have to develop the, ve the very, we have to become very eager, very greedy to get, develop this taste for the holy name. Mm -hmm. Prabhupada writes about crying for Krishna when we shed tears in separation, feeling the attachment for Krishna. I was in the Calcutta temple many years ago and I remember this one man used to come and he used to say to me, he said, you know, I can cry for my business. I can cry for my wife, I can cry for my children, but I cannot cry for Krishna. So until we cry for Krishna, 
We will stay here in this material world. Sixth offense in chanting is to give some interpretation of the holy name. Now we may say, well, Krishna, he was a thief. He stole the butter. He stole the clothes to the gopis. And Hari also means thief. And so in this way we understand Hare Krishna, we're glorifying some big thief. Sometimes we say Krishna means black. So black, we will think, means something mysterious, something which cannot be known. So Krishna means something which cannot be known. Different ways of interpreting the holy name like this. There's a story, one lady told her husband, when you go to market, get me some ghee. So the man went to the market and in the market he heard the shopkeeper calling out that, oh, my oil is so smooth, it's as smooth as ghee. <laughs> So the man thought, oh, his oil is as smooth as ghee, I should get oil. But then he heard another shopkeeper say, my, my oil is as clear as water. So he thought, oh, it's clear as water. I should get water. So he, he didn't take ghee home, he took some water home. So he didn't get any pakoras that night for his supper. <laughs> And so this is give, what happens when we give some interpretation to the holy name. We have to hear the glories of the holy name through the line of disciplic succession from the authorized channels. One time in Jagannath Puri, one scholar came there and he was arguing that we are all feminine in relation to Krishna. Krishna is Purusha and we are all Prakriti. So Krishna is like the husband, we are like the wives. The chaste wife should never say the name of the husband. Mother Sita never ever said the name of Lord Ram. If we were chaste, we should never say the name of Lord Krishna. So when Lord Chaitanya heard this, he said to the man, he said, it is the duty of the chaste wife to follow the order of the husband. Lord Krishna has ordered us all to chant his name. Sometimes 
தன்மை என்னவென்று சொன்னால் கணவனின் கட்டளையை ஏற்று நடத்தல் அது போல கிருஷ்ண பகவான் நமக்கு அவருடைய நாமத்தை ஜெபிக்க வேண்டும் என்ற கட்டளையை அளித்திருக்கின்றார் So we have to be careful how we hear and how we understand the holy name we have to hear it from the proper channel otherwise we may be affected we may be illude, deluded yaridamirundu eppadi kekkindrom indha punitha naamathai patri naam gavanamaga irukka vendum illai endru sonnal naam kulappathirkku aalavo Seventh offense is to commit sinful activities on the strength of chanting the holy name. Yalavadu kutram in the punitha nama jabatin saktiyai kondu nam paavangal seivadu. One may think that oh tonight there's a party or there's some function family function I have to go with them we will go out and uh, we'll take but though it's something I, i should eat with them if i don't eat with them they will not be happy they will not be pleased anyway i'll eat with them and if they drink i will also drink anyway tomorrow i'll do more chanting to make up for it udhanathirkku indru iragu or virundu nigalchi irukkindrathu anaitu kudumba urupinargalum nanbargalum ellam kalandukollugindrargal avargalodu serndu naanum avargal enna unnugindrargalo enna kudikindrargalo ellathaiyum kuduthu vittu naalai அதிகமானதுக்குள்ளார்கள்ிட்டால்ிட்டால்ிட்டால்ிட்டால்ிட்டால்ிட்டால்ிட்டால்ிட்டால்ிட்டால்ிட்டால்ிட்டால்ிட
will go back to Godhead. So we're making a contract with Krishna today. If we keep up our words with the contract, Krishna will keep up his part. He will take us back to Godhead. The eighth offense is to consider chanting Hare Krishna to be an auspicious ritualistic activity as offered in the Vedas like Karma Kanda or fruit of activity. So chanting Hare Krishna, some people may do it like Karma Kandi business, but this is offensive chanting. We're, we're thinking I'm chanting Hare Krishna, Krishna will bring me my material desires, all my desires. This is not pure chanting. <laughs> so, chanting Hare Krishna is meant to be done with love for Krishna, with pure devotion. But we can also chant Hare Krishna in the mode of ignorance. We can be in the mode of ignorance we're chanting. You can be chanting half asleep and you're missing half the words of the mantra. The chanting is not done with much care. It's very much influenced by tamagun. And some people chant in the mode of passion, right? The mode of passion we want to get. I, I want people to know I'm a good chant, a good chanter. I'm a good devotee, and we chant really loud, you know, and we let everybody know I'm a chanting, and we want everybody to see us chanting. We get big beads even, you know. <laughs> Let everybody see what a great devotee I am, so the mode of passion can be there. And the mode of goodness is also there that I'm chanting to get rid of all my sinful reactions. You know, we're not chant we're still not doing pure bhakti because pure bhakti is where we simply chant for Krishna's pleasure. But the mode of goodness, we're thinking, I want to destroy my sinful reactions. <laughs> So, yeah, we want to come to this, this level that we are simply chanting for Krishna's pleasure. We're calling to Krishna. Prabhupada said our chanting should be like the child calling to the mother. Just like Mataji's daughter was coming just now, you know. So much love for her mother. So the same way when we call to Krishna, Krishna is the mother and Krishna is the father, we should call like that, you know, with the same feeling from the heart, pure love. Then the ninth offense is to instruct the glories of the holy name to faithless persons. So faithless persons, we want to create faith 
in people. If people don't have faith, we, would, we want to create their faith in the holy name. And we do that by giving them some nice association, by giving them prasadam, by letting them hear nice kirtan, and by giving them some of Prabhupada's books. This can all help to create faith in people who have no faith. So, that's the idea that we can tell anyone or we can let anybody chant Hare Krishna, we can tell everyone to chant Hare Krishna, but we, go, we don't tell them the intimate glories and the powers of the holy name. We simply tell them, chant Hare Krishna and be happy. Chant Hare Krishna and you'll, you'll find peace of mind. We can simply tell them some simple thing like that. We can tell them, you're not the body. We can tell them, you're controlled by your mind and senses. But if you chant Hare Krishna, it will help you. So we give the holy name to everyone without discrimination. We don't consider who is qualified and who is unqualified. It is said when Lord Krishna appeared, he brought with him a storehouse of love of God, but the contents were all kept locked. Krishna Bhagavan Varupadade Miga Adiga Pana Vishangalam our Pundavandar Anal and the Vishangalam put up at the night. But then the Panchatattva appeared and they plundered the storehouse. They broke open the doors and they distributed all the supply to everyone and everywhere. And they didn't consider who was qualified and who was not. They gave it to everyone. And the more they distributed the contents, the more the supply increased, hundreds of times. So there's no scarcity in distributing Krishna consciousness. Then the tenth offense, not to have complete faith in chanting Hare Krishna and to maintain material attachment even after receiving many instructions. So we have to try to hold on to Krishna. That's how we can get free of material attachment. Right? Re replace your nice makeup and cosmetics with tilak and your latest fashions. You can wear a sari, you see. You know, everything can be dovetailed in Krishna consciousness. Hearing about Krishna and chanting Krishna will help us to get free of all the material attachment. And the root of all offense comes from inattentive chanting. If we, if, so we want to try to chant with proper care and attention. Loud chanting, very powerful. 
You have difficulty control, to control your mind, to be, concentrate on the chanting, chant louder. And, and if you can, come and chant to Radha Krishna Kanaya. They will be happy to hear your chanting. The people in your home may say, oh, be quiet, stop it. <laughs> But if you come here and chant, we'll say, chant more, chant louder. Okay, so these are the ten offenses. So now we're going to give the beats and we'll give the names. For the Okay. All right. Okay. Good. Yeah. Next now we are going to call upon all the temple president chairman to come and introduce their candidates. So, firstly, we call Sri Chaitanya Prabhu. Shelter also, yeah. Shelter, mother, 
Hare Krishna. So we have a, a one candidate initiated uh, first initiation candidate, Harinam initiate, uh, and two shelter from Todu. Uh, and first, first initiate uh, candidate Parvati, daughter of Colin Dai Mataji. She is actually a sister of uh, Goinda Prabhu and Tribuna Prabhu. She is involved in kitchen, dating kitchen, she help in the kitchens, the main kitchen, and also she tie garland, the service, as a service. So hopefully she will, uh, after initiation, she may involve more. So I so, Colin uh, Mataji, I'm going to, uh, uh, sorry, Parvati Mataji, I'm going to go into Prabhu, Tribuna Prabhu, and Tangai. So, even in uh, the kitchen, I'm help to cut the vegetables. I'm going to cut the vegetables. So, by initiation, I'm going to service the vegetables. We have a candidate, uh, shelter candidates. Nathan Prabhu, yes, Nathan. Oh, yeah. So he's a Pijot uh, manager in he's staying in uh, Penang Island. So he he was he's a brother of uh, County Prabhu. So the whole family from Alasta, father, mother, mother, all of, all of them the devotee. They are they are serving in Alasta. I know he's very long. Parthasadi is. So he's quite uh, he asking me what service I can do. Even in cleaning service, whatever he given, he will do it, he said. So the first day he was cleaning gallery, so he will involve more services. So we have a lot of service, so we can take up one of the departments, maybe he can help out. So, Haribo, Hare Krishna. And then we have uh, uh, Madam E. Ju, E. Yu. She's, uh, she's in the Chinese preaching. We have every alternative Saturday. We have a, a class on Chinese for the Chinese members. She, she comes. She sometimes she prepares some Chinese preparation. Amade dish. She bring for the preaching and also she go for food for life. Chinese food for life helping and and she she read a lot. Amade ji, you finish your CC, yeah? Chaitin Chatnamrita started or finished? Bhagavatam she finished. How many times? Twice. Yeah. Whole Srima Bhagavatam is written in the same way. I will go and read it. And I will finish it. I haven't finished it. Finish it already. Yeah, CC. Now next. Pardon? Bhagavad Gita 8 round. Jai. Nice. So hopefully she will serve in Chinese preaching. Hare Krishna. Thank you. Okay, so who is to get initiation? Next, uh, we call upon uh, Karnagara Prabhu to introduce his candidate from Sungapatani Temple. Hare Krishna. We have a Sungapatani Temple. We have a Sungapatani Temple. We have a Tamil Mani. 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 We have a Dhamma Dharma Masa on the guy, Nare sponsor Ponvare Adoda Radha Krishna Kanak on the Indians, Nala Sayona Sayare, book counter now, not Patuare Adoda in the coil cutter the guy, Aurukunya, Nadishman of Togolan Kutakare, Anala Rumba Panban Vare, Amadian Vare, Nala Soldra Pechalanga, Nala Aru Tarke Pare. Sirimad Bhagavad Gita Pappar Chita Varare Bhagavad Gita Vandhi Randuvaat Pappar Chita So, Avarukki Vandhi Yelah Thakdi Yirukki Aak Yelah Nani Avar Munn Mooli Yirah Avarukki Teechi Kudukki Arikishna Achana Kondru Maharaji Dao Illa Achana Kondru Maharaji Dao Illa Achana Kondru Maharaji Dao Illa Achana Kondru Maharaji Dao
next we call upon abhicharan prabhu uh, from uh, gokul namahata kulim hare krishna hare krishna maharaj so uh, today we have uh, three candidates from uh, gokul namahata uh, one candidate taking a brahmin session that is uh, is grace sri haridar uh, haridas prabhu so he took about uh, first session 2 and a half years ago from maharaj and uh, he is doing a lot of service and also he used to come every week cleaning the whole temple mop the whole temple he you know he come program that fail he give classes nowadays and also he come for book distributions you know and uh, he's quite active also he's not only just stick to uh, doing service in uh, gokul namata he also goes to bhakti mandir he used to do service for jagannath also he is very attached to uh, deities and uh, worships and all that so i think it's right for him to take a second session so he can do more service to you know like deity pujas and all that not only that he also very actively involved in um, uh, during the festival time you know abhishek and all that so uh, prabhu is a very uh, dedicated uh, without fail he comes unless some very important things comes in his life you know like a family member so is you know someone got any function even that also most of them is keep when he come to the temple preference is temple you know so such a dedicated person uh, second is jayaram uh, prabhu and his good uh, wife gumani uh, mata ji and also a daughter is sitting there you know he gets very so three of them uh, without fail they come in fact they are the first one to come to the temple even i come late you know they will be there in temple uh doing cleaning and uh, you know mataji is used to do cooking uh, also uh, you know very ag- actively involved in uh, temple service you know cleaning the uh, artisans and everything you can see you know it's very shining and she do a very good uh, you know service there uh, prabhu also comes uh, very comes and do a propat puja also main arati of course we don't have a insult deity there so i think it's time for them to take initiation and you know do more service in the temple uh, they also are very good you know they also very highly educated uh, they all both got degrees and they also used to read lot of uh, books and all that and they have a good knowledge in uh, sastric knowledge and they are very obedient uh, dedicated to the temple and also they are very so far i never seen any uh, they are very very humble and submissive accepting the orders and they follow very strictly so that's very important so i think it's time for me to you know get them a, a diksha guru so that they can uh, humbly service the guru and get more mercy that i cannot give <laughs> so at least uh, maharaj can give them and guide them and then you know to introduce to krishna hari krishna hari krishna next is we call upon uh, dibagdabal temple chairman ramcharan prabhu Hare Krishna Maharaj. So from Nipong Tabal, uh, Bhakti Nindrani and Bhakti Pune's. So from those days, Maharaj, they are helping us so much uh, for our temple. So every day they will, uh, every Sunday they will come cooking and tying garland. So all the cleaning service, everything. So I'm very satisfied. And temple also very agreeable to give initiation to both of them. So I'm very happy to recommend them to the initiation Maharaj. So they are very dedicated. so i'm uh, very uh, so happy for for your service uh, so i'm ready to uh, recommend them to initiation thank you manish thanks next we we call upon uh, satyananda prabhu from kulim center avaru aala solra pa hare krishna solla appa da yaar nu theriya alla ki yaar peru yaar hare krishna hare krishna maharaj so let me introduce uh, we have uh, one candidate who's uh, taking shelter today so namalukku vandu ore bhaktar kooli mundu mara shelter edukranga avanga vandu sharmila mata ji avanga kandirukanga hari krishna mata ji so mata ji vandu temple la vandu nariya service seiranga kurippattu illa ella service vandu avanga vandu pangeduppanga mata ji normally participates in most of the service in the centers and she is actively uh, practicing all the principles and chanting for the past uh, whatever required months very strictly so we hope by maharaj blessing she will progress more and more in spiritual life and we also have uh, satya sarojini mata ji who has taken initiation few months back in tdu and will participating in this fire sacrifice hari krishna as we call upon sir chetanya prabhu to introduce a candidate from clang uh, center 
Hare Krishna. So this is Jay Prakash uh, Narayan Prabhu, the son of uh, Lashman, Lashmana Prabhu. Lashman Prabhu is very active in Tuluintan. So he's an elderly devotee, he's a Jayapathaka Maharaj disciple. So he, he, he was, he, actually his, his father, he, he, he liked to do Kirtan, he liked to do uh, book distribution. Huh? And same thing he is uh, mm -hmm. doing. In Klang, what is his service? I just recently I saw he, in Klang Radhetra he put up a book table, and father was there, and wife, the whole family, the son is there. So he, the whole family was uh, putting up a book table and preaching. So they are more involved in uh, book distribution and uh, preaching in Klang Center. As far as no. Hare Krishna. அடுத்து இனிஷியேஷன் கம் டு தான் பவு டவுன் அண்ட் குருஸ் பிரணாம் then you receive the initiation and instruction from the guru shelter mode attending shelter mode thodanga modalla vandu vanagitte avrudeya per those who are taking shelter campus bow down and mantra sampi pannunga so pranam guru pranam is important modalil vande vanakangalai samarpithi vittu a guru udeya பிரணாம குருவுடைய நாமத்தை நீங்க உச்சரிக்க வேண்டும் மிக முக்கியம் அதன் பிறகு தீச்சை வழங்கப்பட்ட பிறகு கேட்கும் கேள்விகளுக்கு நீங்கள் பதில் சொல்ல வேண்டும் so because my name my sanya's name is a little unusual uh to mau krishna goswami gave me this name actually it was given initially by bhakti charu swami he suggested it to to mau krishna maharaj to mau krishna maharaj gave it to me when i took initiation so it, it's one of the 108 names for sanyas given by bhakti siddhanta saraswati and it's not swami it's not Bhakti Nishinga Swami. There's another sannyasi who has that name. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That, you know, he's from Africa. He's, so my sannyas name is Bhakti Vigna Vinash Narasimha. There's no Swami. Just like Prabhupada's sannyas name is Swami. Yeah. Yeah. So there's some people that have the name Puri, Madhavendra Puri. All right. And Tirtha Maharaj, Bhakti Vilas Tirtha. You know, right? So my sannyas name is Narasimha. So, so Bhakti Vigna Vinash Narasimha Iki Namini. Can we say Bhakti Vigna Vinash Narasimha Maharaj Iki Namini? You don't put Maharaj, nobody puts Maharaj in their sannyas pranam, yeah. in their pranam mantra. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's calling not, Maharaj. No, never there. Addressing. There's no Maharaj in the pranam mantra. Namini. Just a, as an address, you can address as Maharaj. But okay. not in the pranam mantra eh yeah okay mara can tell the name pranam but nama om vishnu padaya krishna prasthaya bhutale krishna prasthaya bhutale shrimati shrimati bhakti vigna vinasha bhakti vigna vinasha narasimha narasimha iti namo iti namo so mara yes okay put uh, the flower on the feet of uh, mara esa puspanjali puspanjali put put the feet ah okay yes okay ah pull the pay obeisance pay obeisance onaka salutunga ulla pull vara nam salutunga avangi ipo na gattaanga pomji thayir kudanga jo jore katti senior solli kudu chama o vishnu padaya ay ipo illa appra mele pomji ichi ponga Afterward, they can, you can teach very well. They cannot catch up on that. Okay.
மகாராஜா கூப்பிடுங்க யார் யார் டீச்சர் எடுக்கும் ஒரு ஒரு ஆளை கூப்பிட்டு தமிழ்மணி பிரபு ஃப்ரம் சிங்கப்பட்டி பிரதா கட்டுங்க இடங்க கர்த்தால் பிரதா கர்த்தால் இடங்க இடங்க கர்த்தால் ரெடி ரெடி பண்ணுங்க நேரா போடுங்க இதெல்லாம் மொத வட்டி உள்ளனா அப்புறம் இறக்குறப்ப தான் உள்ள நேரா உள்ளங்க நேரா உள்ளங்க நீட்டா நீட்டா ஆம்பளைய போட்டுங்க ஆல்ல நீட்டா உள்ளனா அப்படியே அந்த இதுல போட்டு வச்சிடுங்க நீ எங்க நான் ஹஸ்பண்ட் அண்ட் வைஃப் என்ன வரணும் அவங்க தப்பா சொல்லிட்டா அப்படி நீ கரெக்ட் குடிக்க வேணா நீங்க உக்காந்துட்டு பீச்ச எடுத்துட்டு அப்புறம் சொல்லுங்க கடைபிடிக்க வேண்டிய நான்கு கொள்கைகள் தமிழ்லயே சொல்லலாம் பிரச்சனை no 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 sex, sex, no drinking alcohol. No intoxication, man. No intoxication. Okay. Mike, Mike. 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 Mike.
The next candidate is Purneshwari Mataji from Nibang Tabang. She is Kanteya Prabhu's wife, good wife. <laughs> the daughter. So, what are the four requirements? No 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 What does the name again? So your name is Pavitra Panchali Devi Dasi. Panchali means one who has five husbands. She only has one husband. But you're the servant, right? Panchali is Dropati. The next candidate is Indrani Mataji, this Varneshwari uh, Mataji's sister from Nibong Tabal. No meat eating, no intoxication, no gambling, and no illicit sex. So your name is Indira Murti Devi Dasi. Indira means goddess of fortune, right? The goddess of fortune, Indira. Indira Murti Devi Dasi. Hare Krishna. The next candidate is Jayaprakash Narayanan Prabhu from Klang. No meat, no meat eating, no intoxication, no gambling, no So your name is Nara Narayan Das. Nara Narayan, supermost human being, right? You're the servant. <laughs> Nara Narayan Das Prabhu Ki. Jai. Prabhu Jai.